Hello, my name is Mickey Yipe and I'm an RN, Certified Diabetes Educator. I manage Hurley Diabetes Center, which is a part of Hurley Medical Center in Flint, Michigan. It's important to use the glucose control solution that came with your meter so that you're sure that your meter and your strips are working together the way that they should. When you use the glucose control solution, it's important that the solution name match the name on your meter. It's also important to know that it's within the solution expiration date. Once the solution has been open, it expires three months from that date. So this example shows that this bottle was open on September 20th, 11, and needs to be discarded on December 20th of 11. You should use the glucose control solution that came with your meter whenever you open your vial of strips. Strips are very sensitive to temperature and moisture, so if you find that you left your strip vial open, you need to test with the glucose control solution. And if your blood sugar readings are not where they have been for the past few times, then use the glucose control solution. When you perform a glucose control test, the value of the glucose control test is on your meter strips. So on this vial, it shows that when you use the normal control solution, the range should be between 83 and 125. You perform a glucose control test the same way you do as a blood sugar meter test. So you put a strip into the meter, you shake your vial, put a drop on the tip of the vial, and then you use a solution in place of your blood. This is showing that it's timing the test, and the test result is 89. Before it times out, you want to let the meter know that this is not you, so you mark the control as a control test, as shown in this display with the control bottle. And this result is right in line with the normal range on the strip vial, so you now know that you can count on the strips and your meter working together, and you can rely on your blood sugar readings.